What's going on, guys? We're going to pick up where we last left off, and we're going to do episode two all the way through. That rhymes. So, we're going to do what we did yesterday and play all the way through till about 2.30, probably, because it's midnight now, so let's do this. All right. Previously on The Walking Dead, AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. Yep, it sure was. That could have been. The last been episode ended. was a huge fucking cliffhanger, too. Like, I had that fucking I woke guy. Up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same. Lewis idea. better survive. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlin I like this opening. It night, tells you what you did, the, the choices you made. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Lewis backed me up. I attacked Marlin and made him drop the gun. I was going to lock him in the basement. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I taught him. To save, to save the last, the last bullet, bullet for himself. What's gonna happen now? <laughs> I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said I could have some. I didn't steal it. I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin. I heard Lewis. Situation under control. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my 
called me a murderer. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlon was bad. He killed Brody. He, he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlon yeah. did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we going to do? do? Oh, boy. Don't, don't, don't. Back off, all of you! It was under control! I talked Marlin down, then Violet's he murdered up. my fucking friend! Take AJ, go inside. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. Marlon started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlon in the fucking skull. I agree. It was over. Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. We can forgive them. Murderers, even some monsters, they get a second chance. Some monsters. Not all. When bad people, like murderers, try to make it right, that's when other people forgive them. That sounds hard. It is. We're going to fix this. You and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. I had the fucking situation. <laughs> for God's sake, someone! Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? Screw both of you. Hey. What is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... That means you murdered him. Different story. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. He didn't want like that for him. He deserved better. He wouldn't have wanted to become one of those things. I love either. you, Clem. I love you back. Jesus. Hey. hey. Violet said, said to come get you for her funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. 
like a firefighter. <laughs> no, firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decided that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Uh, worked before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. We have to decide things for ourselves now. And make new rules, yeah. Rely on other like people the walking to make dead's the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So is everyone else. I think you're okay. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried the body. Vile started soon. See you out there. This is gonna be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. Don't punch them the first time someone. Time to go. Soon. Ready? Here we go, boys. No shit, as a kid. He, yeah, he killed somebody when I fucking disarmed him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we gotta attend a funeral. I did that. Come on. Oh God, they're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> them stairs though, they're like... Everyone in the fucking group looked at them like... The fuck are they doing here? Get them the fuck out of here. No, you're not welcome here. <laughs> That's the, you're not welcome look. I've had that many times in my life. I know what that look looks like. That's the, get the fuck out of here look. <laughs> Marlin, just but... leave them alone. Shit. Clem? What? Why do people have funerals? Tim said they used to have them when they died. But I don't get it. Well, to remember, we remember people we loved. They loved Marlin. Yeah, they did. I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. <laughs> Even monsters. Merlin did bad things, but he wasn't a monster. I know. Conflicted. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was 
I can't. I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but you deserve better than to get gunned down by that kid. He just killed him like it was nothing. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie and Minnie. And to Brody. And what about Marlin? Who's responsible for that? Me. Oh, Jesus Christ. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Jordy decides. They stay or they leave. Today. Here we go again. That does sound fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Damn. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Back to the dorm. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go.
Does AJ still have that gun? It only has the one bullet. Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. I'm not walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. We already know he knows how to use it. As long as I get it back. I'll give it to him. Here, you can have it. Fuck. There. Happy? Can we go? Again. Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. Yep. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up the shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. Yeah, and it almost killed us. You saw how fucked up we were after that car crash. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I don't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Marlon did. Even dead, he's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. Just stay safe. Both of you. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying a kid shouldn't have shot him. I must be stupid. I can't leave you out here unarmed. Thanks. Okay. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. Ow. There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. And the monsters. I don't know. I'll do everything to keep you safe. I'll keep you safe, too. Truth. Not even five minutes. Now come on out. I 
saw a couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? That fucking guy. That's the man from the train station, yes. I thought he'd die. You can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough. Ugh. Stay here. No answer. I should have killed ya. a community near here. Marla. He's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. Come on, kid. We don't want to be out here all day. Sure, if you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Lily. What the fuck? You probably don't remember me. It's been a while. I've never seen you before. When this all started, a man named Lee saved you. Or stole you. I was never sure. I was in your group for a while until... until I wasn't. What the hell? Not now. fuck is this? I said, not now. <sighs> Lee isn't with you. Nope. <laughs> so he's dead then. I remember her. I remember her. Never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I killed that guy. Doug. Lee should have left you behind, too. Might have lived longer if he did. Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Oh, Your little boy there, you'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. We don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. <coughs> we can you help you I'm raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. What? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of them. We'll what? take you back to the Delta to join our uh. people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends Sounds like and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. That way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart yes. about this, Clementine. It's an us-or-them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, 
you won't pick them. Shoot! Spry for someone with an arrow in your shoulder. Bing, bing, bong, yeah. Oh, fuck me more. No. <gasps> Stop. Too loud.
fucking whispers. Finally. Fucking whispers, guys. Finally. Oh, I've been waiting for them for so goddamn long. As a hardcore Walking Dead fan. There, there. Get the shrapnel out. Me? I'll keep him still. Trying to make it quick, kid. So far, it seems like the whispers are bad people. But I know they are. Trying not to be loud. It's okay, AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. He's just gonna patch you up. That's enough, for now. The worse than me again. Uh, easy, God. easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis got shot. I saw. They saved oh. us. Yeah, they did. Shit. Are we gonna see Alpha and Beta? I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. Yep. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Oh, he was part of the Whisperer group. Sometimes, guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. See? Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Are we gonna see some of that group? So he's a good guy then. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Eat. Both of you. Thank you. He needs it now more than ever. <laughs> I ain't gonna let you die. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since. I've said it.
James. Oh my God, that's me. Why did you help us, James? Jesus Christ. <laughs> they named the character after me. The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I hardly know anything about them. You know, they attacked you. They'll attack again. Yeah, they said as much. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. war. Yes. That's why I helped you. Whisper war. Thank you. Clem? Wait. Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. Learning things to whisk your way. Cool. This is dope. Thank you. I hope you don't betray me, James. Wow. Safe. It was difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Uh, zombies, man. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. So, where are you from? back. Washington. D.C. Right by Rick! The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine. If you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back. Or you'll lose him. I'll go back. Convince them to help AJ. They'll take us back once they see him. They wouldn't turn AJ away. You hope? I hope. I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Have to. Sleep. sleep. I'll keep watch. Mm, I can't. Then we'll both keep watch. Less lonely. True. True. 
<laughs> she doesn't fall asleep anyway, isn't she? I'm sure she's used to staying up in the middle of the night either way. Oh, God. We're staying! That's my trophy. Episode 1 is going to be just as long as episode 2, isn't it? Which means I'll probably be on until like 2.30 or so. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, no. I've got him. Da, 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 just walking slowly, ever so slowly, and stopping. <sighs> Hurt. Come on, we're almost there. You live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Not ready. Right. Understandable. Down, aren't you? Oh boy. I can't keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Oh, fuck. Ah! Lucas ain't happy to see me. Oh, never mind. Shit. Is he. He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. It's okay, buddy. This is not got you. Again, something tells me this is either just as long as episode one, or it's going to be shorter than episode one. You know what I mean? Or it could be longer. Let me see. No in between. Well, I have what I need what upstairs. upstairs. Come on. <laughs> we got the shrapnel out of them. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. What up, there's... You come with me. We can talk in the office. The whispers are here. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Tim! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on, what do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, we breathe in, hold it in. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. What 
happened out in the woods. I saw they had you pinned, and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I just let go of the arrow. I wasn't even sure if I'd hit her. And then Louis got shot six, six inches over. We'd be digging another grave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? It's yeah, really Lily, good to see Lily you again. Was a bitch. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not, like, with her group. I wouldn't have recognized her if she hadn't recognized me first. We were in a group together. Long time ago. Hope it was a different kind of group that didn't fucking steal people. Come on, you know it was different. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. A guy named Doug. He was really sweet. Protected the group. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Well, he said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. And you don't have to worry about James. We can trust him. Well, he said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. His fur. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. Wow. Okay. okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet? AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry, and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. Oh my god, forget the stupid vote. It's not important now. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. They take outsiders and make them part of their group. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. We've got good, strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. The, the courtyard's front. pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. I'll go. Are, you sure? Are you sure? 
It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Well, he told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Oh, yes, she would. <laughs> would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those people who shot Lewis, they're arming up to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. These raiders all carry guns, and they know how to use them. So whatever you think of me and AJ, deal with it, or you're gonna end up dead. I'd rather take my chances. Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go, too. You know, to... Keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? Since no one else stepped the fuck up. <laughs> These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. Not awkward at all. I, I... I guess I didn't realize how long it's been, how much it's changed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't, uh, this ain't budging. Don't go right up to it. You're all day, you're gonna do something useful. <laughs> well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs it. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. This place was crawling with walkers. Me, 
maybe more than. Maybe, maybe, maybe more than, maybe there's more than, maybe there's more than two. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, look. look. Wild, Wild ginger. ginger. Eastern prickly pear. Jerusalem, Jerusalem artichoke. artichoke. False, False Solomon, Solomon seal. Let's find, Let's that, find that barbed that wire or anything, anything else that might be useful. Else. Barbed wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Some mushrooms are edible. <laughs> you seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are gonna do wonders for morale. You wait and see. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. <laughs> okay, let's see what's inside. Miss Martin, our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. God, she looks. He 
I can barely recognize her. She's just, just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I, I, I just wish I could make her look like she used to. One day we what came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just there were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run, so we did. Just she taught me how to patch people care. up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. I mean, I, I was gonna do it either way, but okay. Rest in peace. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah. Just need Just a minute. minute. Come on, guys. Let me find that propane and we can get out of here. Where's Hank Hill when you need him? <laughs> Signed by find bomb components. Wow, as simple as that. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Wimp. Uh, Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. You find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. Let's hope there's gas in it. If it's heavy, there's gas in it. It's uh, so heavy. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> here, here. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Barrier? Why bother? It's a walker. Let me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial. Here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Fine, Fine whatever. whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. Once it's dead, I'll it's put a, a stone course. in the graveyard. Back at the school. But Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a... a good heart. Under all that look. Hey. <laughs> Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. It means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death. Assholes won't know what hit them. Unless they got a man on the inside, which they probably do.
Still sh Brought you the easies. Still shit in the shot third, third leader. When, you know. Where did you get those? They were tens back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So, we've got a greenhouse again. And bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the Raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still I liked you better when you were quippy, man. I was. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Just get some sleep, okay? okay. Now you're all emotional. <clears throat> Lewis? I'm sorry, I'm sorry that you're hurting, and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlon, he... Forget it. I should go. I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? He helped carry me, and he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. AJ, I was never mad at him. I understand why he acted that way. Why he wanted us gone. <sighs> Me too. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. You didn't sleep last night. <sighs> nope. Hey, hey, this one's pretty cool. Mm, looks like Marlin's jacket. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it would still look good on you. Hey, look! It's Disco Broccoli and his friend. I wish you could have seen this cartoon. Me too. Robert Kirkman definitely has an imagination. How about this one? It looks like Tin's boots. Oh yeah, I think it's the same character. Cool. Hmm. This one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with the light. I'll blow it out in a second. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries... <sighs> Bang. I hope the Whisper show up in the war. Whisper war like the comics. What's gonna happen in the night? Oh, daytime. <laughs> the fucking fight gonna happen? <laughs>
two, two fucking weeks later? Jesus Christ! Flagging them, and then when their senses are dulled, they're gonna attack. Hey, Jake. Where are you? She's, she's dreaming. down the dark tunnel that's all red that's a very bad sign I can't go I have to go down the dark tunnel oh boy <laughs> Just give me a minute. Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. Half the group I died stay up forever. forever. I probably could. Like that episode. Like 18 like days. days. If I tried hard. We're safe here, AJ. It doesn't, it doesn't feel, feel like, like it. it. You used, you used to think, think so? so? Ah. Two weeks, you still... Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. I raised you to be strong, not stupid. I'm not. Shutting people out when they're trying to help you? That's stupid. Please, don't call me stupid. I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work to atone me. <sighs> I'm gonna help you more so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol. For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. No, you're not. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. It's, dark it's dark out there. Out there. Um, you're like five. Uh, actually, I'm kind of tired. tired. I'd uh, uh, kind of rather stay. Yeah, yeah, I figured. 
What is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah. Come on up. I'm not scared. Just tired. Makes sense to me. Think you need that? That's probably what AJ? they're gonna do with Maggie. What? In season ten. You're still little. Yeah, I know. out of that guy that guy's grave <sighs> you ready to work today kiddo bed trains always make me more tired me too I slept better in your bed it's my turn to be lookout Maybe so. I don't have any stuff I need to do. That's stuff. Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. <laughs> Everyone, get over yourself. Almost, almost hey. two weeks. Hey, I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. You need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Okay, now we got to talk to people. Help everyone free. Maybe I should talk to Lewis. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. Shit. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years, I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games, while my best friend was left with all the responsibility. All the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. But I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back, I, I still do. AJ killed him. I didn't stop it. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. I'll never be glad he died. But I understand why AJ thought it was the right thing to do. Here. I still don't think you should have killed him. I had him down. You don't kill an unarmed man. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... Unless gone through a fair trial. he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. In that direction, please. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. <laughs> That's Lewis I like. 
Come on, can I do it? Piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. If you want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. And Clem, Clem? Thank, you. thank you for all of it. Yeah, we square. Tight, we homeboys. to that. Hopefully this at least creeps the raiders out. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. So I checked on Lewis, I checked on the kids. Who else is there to check on? Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. Ms. Martin, thanks for protecting everyone. What are you doing down there, Rosie? <laughs> Good girl. Oh, what did Marlin used to do? Violet went to board up the hallway, didn't she? Yep. I would have done it later. I just wanted to do this first. It's okay. She needed something to keep herself busy. Well then, glad to help. Go ahead and practice if you want. It's all ready for you. Oh, 
else is up. One more dude I missed. I'm stupid. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Stupid shit. Uh, could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. We're making bombs. Stand back. Oh, Fucking shit. If it doesn't, it doesn't work. work. I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Just need more time. Alone time to think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. Thanks, though. For helping. Oh, we good. Yay. We can continue with the story. She just wanted to go have a smoke and build a wall. That hallway's secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. Honestly, it's not reassuring. Mitch's bomb doesn't work, and Lewis is Lewis. Fuck, that's shit. <laughs> because you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself, guys, what the fuck? Pilot <laughs> told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say. That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid. You're being childish. I am not. I'm trying to help! So help! And stop arguing! Asim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical too! No, it isn't. It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of. Especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. What the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit! <laughs> We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. Right, what we need is something to break the tension. The one. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? <laughs> Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Oh, that card game. Come on, we gotta oh. play. Okay, I'm coming. They're, they're dumbasses, they're trying you to sneak out. I haven't after. played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you wanna go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What are we playing? Truth or Dare. You don't oh, use yeah. cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version, everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, lowest card has to answer. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. 
Mary, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Mary, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta answer. Them's the rules. <laughs> that's funny because that's my name. Let's see. <laughs> I would marry. Let's, 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 let's change this thing. Who's a sim? I don't know who a sim is. Ruby. Watch out, a sim. She's totally gonna swoop in and ruin your dream. You gotta admit, Clem's a way better catch than you. <laughs> I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. A sim. Oh, oh wow. Wow. That, wow. Now, that's <laughs> awkward. I don't think you're his type. He's into redheads. Dude, shut up. <laughs> so that means you're killing. This is amazing. Boy from the woods! I'll try to shed a tear for the poor boy none of us met. He's probably just a figment of Clem's imagination. No, he's not. I met him. Well, now he's dead. Poor dude. <laughs> this is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. This is when they're kind of getting yeah. fucked, aren't On to round two. They're watching them in the woods, waiting for this fucking moment. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. <laughs> oh, you <just> slap him. <laughs> <laughs> about our good friend of Sim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. <laughs> I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like like? Uh, obviously Lewis. Seriously? Like like? What are you, six? Seven, thank you. <laughs> well, I guess that's my answer. Clem has feelings for no one and nothing. <laughs> uh, Sam, you've got the high card. And the loser is... Tennessee? What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um... I think... I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday. Cause the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um... Some other ages... This kid so it's like that. gets fucking psychological, age. man. And for his age. Another one will start. An age without walkers. Jesus. It used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? No. It was perfect. You sounded really smart. <laughs> I like to read. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. We're living in it. <laughs> and that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. <clears throat> that awkward moment. <laughs> yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. In there alone. Hey. 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 You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Why not do both? Sorry, I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. 
It's a big ass school. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I'm on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person. Kind of crush Lewis's friend, and they can kind of tell there's a, a romantic sh relationship developing between the two. Besides, Lewis is dope. Thought I could tickle the ivories one last time before all hell breaks loose. That's a good idea. I haven't heard music in a while. Many people would say you're not about to hear it now. So, how do you feel about our imminent deaths? I have a... We won't necessarily die, of course. We could also be kidnapped, injured, maimed, maybe eaten. The possibilities are endless. I'm keeping it together. It isn't easy, but the alternative is giving up, and I'm not doing that. Exactly. Oh, Never give up. No, give up, plan a shot to hell. If you're not gonna, I definitely can't. So, what's this project you needed me for? Sounds awful, right? All we need to do is tune it. That's why I need you. <laughs> I'm, I, 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 when I, get I know the signal, how to play a piano, a I don't know how to tune a piano. Yeah, which one's the A key? You know, the A key. Next to the B key. After the G key. Okay. Good. Good. That definitely, that definitely helped. helped. Now press the pedals while I make some more adjustments. Great! That part's golden. Quick, now blow on the strings. I know, sounds weird, but blow on them. Cooling the temperature helps set them in harmony. Okay, oh, great. great. That did nothing, did nothing, because that's not at all part of how you tune a piano. <laughs> but it was funny. It could have done something, on like a molecular level. Or maybe it's good luck to blow on strings. <laughs> I can't believe I fell for that. It's good to see you like this. I fell for it too. <laughs> I, I probably would have done the same a thing. <laughs> a song that I wrote. Really? Well, what's it called? I don't know yet. There. First time played. We should mark the occasion. Oh, jeez. First love. <laughs> You done tattooing that piano? I think you've got a future in Whitland. I like saying Whitland. Oh, that's a that that's a potato. It's a heart. Yep, I see. It's a heart. That's super cool. Really cool. So, hey, I'm gonna dig myself into a deep hole from which I'll never emerge. Cool? Cool. <laughs> Time to get serious. Serious? Ow. Are you feeling okay? Not really, nope. Mm -mm. 
Thanks for being here, listening, blowing on the strings, coming here to help me with my project, even after everything I put you through, and everything I had to work through for myself. Everyone hears the jokes, the piano, and after that, they stop listening. You didn't. So, um, I like you a lot. Like, like you. As more than a friend. I want to hear. <laughs> no jokes? Nothing? Figured out what to call the song. Clementine, obviously. You know, because I like fruit. And I like you even more. So, there. Gotta admit, of all the things I saw coming, you having a crush on me was not it. Ooh, trauma. <laughs> Ooh, moving I have fast. To go. I've got lookout duty. Well, you gotta move fast in the zombie that. apocalypse. Sounds like way too much fun. Oof, oof. Yeah. Hooking up in the zombie apocalypse. Lee did tell her to have fun before he he, he died. R.I.P. Lee. Is it James? The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with him. Abel. Yeah. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I fucking really hate that fucking dickhead shit fuck. Whoa, that's a little much, don't you think? Well, I do. Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four. AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's no, ten I still can't believe that dude fucking survived that. Jeez. He doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. Ooh, you're playing what? I'm the one that kills him. Okay? No, AJ. He's too dangerous. But. No buts. Hmm. <sighs> Well, fuck. <laughs> you said I could. There's 12 of them now. But what if we played rock, paper, scissors? If I win, you change your mind, and I get dibs on eight. I can take him, Glenn. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Playing rock, really? paper, scissors with That's the new life. Sucker. And no take backs. No take backs. Sucker. Get ready. It's like a One. little Michael Jackson. <laughs> Two. Rock. Crap. <laughs> Again. One. Two. Paper. Scissors one. Yep. Yep. Again. Damn. One. Two. Rock. Crap. I win. So no more about dibs, okay? Okay. You gotta not throw scissors all the damn time, kid. When I threw paper, I was thinking you were gonna <laughs> throw rock Not a walker. to counterattack. Here, you look too. <laughs> My other rock. That's not a walker. James! Ha <sighs> ha! Good job, AJ. Oh yeah, he back. Come on, he we have to tell the others. They see me rolling. They see me hating. <laughs>
Terminators, DVDs. <laughs> Huzzah! For the motherland! Are we really going out there? Can't we just sing them? Raiders? Yeah, they're here. Shit. Well, in case it all goes to hell and I don't see you again during the fight, just know, I have no idea what that D stands for on your hat. Don't tell me. I prefer it to remain a mystery. Detroit, I'm gonna man. pretend like it stands for don't die. So just, um... But listen Glenn to the hat app. It's okay? from Detroit, man. Glenn was from Michigan. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns. And carts, probably to carry people Oh, away. it wasn't him. Okay, I was wrong. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time right. to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be right back after use the bathroom. Right. Ah, uh, is all be is all. Alrighty. All right, let's do this. Any final words of wisdom? You've faced them and won, after all. Well, sort of. Make them regret it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck. Shit. Shit. Oh, they're gonna oh, fucking pay. They got fucking Lewis. Fuck you, Lewis. My bow. Go. Go. I'll be all right. Have much time. Go. Fucking Lily. Come on, asshole. Hey, you bitch. There's the horse. From the rain. It's okay. Just try not to move or make noise. That's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna aim right for the little all this. Focus. The just scare cross. Yes, they took us seriously. Spread out. Search the yard. Run, kid, run. If Clementine moves, shoot her. Mm -mm, mm -mm, you ain't shooting me, bitch. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And your little boy. Take me! You want soldiers? Fine. Take me with you. But leave everyone else. You do that, 
You'd come with me if I let the others go? Yes. You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. Damn it. God, you are just like him. Lee would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. Don't, don't ever say his name. I knew Lee better than ever. <laughs> you don't know shit, bitch. Get out. If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We recruited from this school before. He means so. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed. One guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Ah, <clears throat> oh, bitch, no. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. <laughs> No. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it's just like the dream. I'm a good bitch. Go, kid, go! <gasps> what the fuck? God damn it! Mitch! Mitch! No! Kill who you have to! Take the rest! This is why Leo left you. Kill who you have to. Take the rest. So I have to aim for the move. There we go. Flipping with the shotgun. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah, you're gonna die first, one arm dude. You strangled the sun. Lily ain't around. 
around this time. So we'll have a nice little chat. You and me. Alone. Uh, I ain't in the I ain't in the mood for chatting. <laughs> Fucking nerds! <laughs> um, I can't stay back! I see someone like you. Weak, small, afraid, and still alive. Well, I've had a lot of folks die to get you here. Right for you. Right through the window. This dude won't die. Oh, I broke his fucking legs. Easy. Then do it already. Shoot me! You're betting I won't. I don't care. Just get it over with! Motherfucker! Just fucking. Yeah! Oh my god, Violet. No, 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 Lewis! Oh, they're gonna make me choose. through that whole fight without dying and a walker gets me.
are the only survivors. Sorry for trusting you. God, Hashem, Omar, they're just gone. And Violet, I never thought someone would get her. Them back. We're going after them. How? We still don't know where they are or how many. Well, we've got someone who does. <laughs> oh, oh my god, they kept him alive. How oh, that fucker won't die. I was in the minority, okay. and was kidnapped.
episode three is no oh, episode three doesn't come out till what November. Damn. <laughs> okay, okay, I guess that that's it for the night. I'm I'm signing off. It's like two fifteen in the morning. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.